WFNN. Headline News Update. Well, I hate to interfere with the Federal Reserve today, folks, but they're going to be acting pretty sw- pretty swiftly, I guess, here. Uh, we got the S&P here at uh, right at the 382. We sold it there. We got out of it before the Fed uh, came in, of course. We just exited that position. You don't want to go into a position in with the Fed, so we broke that, put that at break even. We've got the Dow Jump, Dow Jumpsy, the Dow Jonesies, is up uh, 200, a little over 215 points sitting right at a big 61% ABCD pattern up there. And we've got the NASDAQ hit the exact 382 pattern, just uh, absolutely right on the money. So whatever the Fed does here, it's going to be figured in the market. We've talked about that bonds. Uh, the bonds have had a little bit of rally coming off of that uh, 218.03 level. We got up to 28 again. So no matter what they do, folks, uh, they've got trouble in the bond market, and uh, it's going to have a hard time figuring it out. But uh, that's what it looks like here from the cheap seats here in uh, Tucson, Arizona. No guests today. So if you have any questions, you can give them a call at 877-927-6648, and I'll be trying to answer. Don't try the first half hour, folks. Because the lines are so filled right now, you probably won't be able to get through. But you just never know. Sometimes you get lucky and you don't even know it. So far, I don't think this, the Fed is doing very much because I have seen no action yet going on here in the E-mini S&P. But I would be not surprised if we hit 45, 43 sometime today if there was some really bullish news like maybe they drop rates. Chances are they're not going to do anything because that's the easy way to do it. And uh, whether that means anything or not, I don't know. But I'm not a politician, never professed to be, and I don't want to be one. That's for absolute sure. I have a story from Los Angeles to tell you folks, but it's so bizarre and it hasn't been in the news yet. But I'm not going to share it with you until I uh, hear, hear it in the news. And then when I hear it in the news, I will uh, give you some information on it because I had someone who happened to be involved in the store during the time that it happened and I – I wanted to bring that to your attention, but not until I see it in the news because it was so bizarre that uh, I just couldn't believe the guy told me. And, he, and he's such a straight shooter. I've known the guy 